what are we doing sending an aircraft carrier to patrol the South China Seas to encourage a buildup of military hardware between India, Australia, the United States, and ourselves all around the South China Sea and towards China? Because it seems to me that this is a recreation of the whole idea of a Cold War philosophy. And that Cold War philosophy won't serve us well any more than building up to further conflicts with Russia by the deployment of the Navy in the Black Sea. Now, before anybody shouts at me about human rights abuses in China, in Russia, or anywhere else, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, any country you care to name, I'll just say this, I would challenge any country, any leader on their human rights record if I thought they should be challenged. And I do think they should be challenged because human rights are a universal concept based on the Universal Declaration of 1948. Wouldn't it be so much better if we put our energies into engagement with all those countries to try to ensure that the ideals of the Universal Declaration are actually met in a proper way and support the United Nations in what it is trying to achieve? Um, now, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm not sure that you're in here for the joy of the speech uh, of the Right Honourable Gentleman from Islington North. Um, I'm afraid that it's remarkable only in that it stood out from the very sensible and balanced contributions from everybody else who participated <laughs> in the debate. Um, rather unsurprisingly, he was unwilling to support freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. He was unwilling to support freedom of navigation in the Black Sea. Indeed, he was critical of the UK and our allies for seeking to do so, um, whilst, of course, uh, he was entirely mute on the Russian build-up of troops, uh, combat aircraft and warships in the Black Sea earlier in this year. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, his contribution was typically tone-deaf in what has otherwise been an excellent debate.